it's a very beautiful day today saturday march 12th 2022 a day that we have uh, scheduled to be to do a river cleanup on the rio grande this is a activity that was planned between three concerned villagers myself by Teul, and andrew Carles, a local business person and a local villager, Mr. Benancio Coy. We thought that since the pandemic is now a bit lifted, we could gather some people to come out and assist us in collecting garbage that is thrown inside the river. I'm very happy to see that we have a very good turnout. It's not only our little environmental group that is taking part, but we're also getting the Rio Grande warriors from San Pedro, Colombia to come and participate with us. We have the assistance of the Ashe uh, Conservation Trust with vehicles, canoes and manpower. We are very grateful for that. We are also very grateful to Denise Garcia who is the leader of the group from San Pedro, Colombia to bring out our, our crew to assist us in doing this cleanup today. We plan to do it from San Pedro, Colombia, from San Miguel to Big Falls Bridge, but we thought it needed more planning, more um, people involved, and um, so we cut it down only to do it from Esperanza our community to Big Falls Bridge. This activity has been going on, I think the first time we did it was in 2014, 2015, there about. And, um, we thought it was very important, myself and other villagers, when we go down the river or go up the river, we see quite a amount of garbage thrown in the river. Some comes from all the way from San Pedro, San Miguel, Silver Creek, even Big Falls. So people get concerned and we decided to start doing this event. It was an annual event, but due to the pandemic, we had a um, time where we couldn't um, do it. So this time around today is the first time we hope to do it uh, with three of us starting organizers with them maybe we should do it every six months or at least once a year because it's very important to keep our waterways clean. I've visited the reef on several occasions and on some of these beautiful islands we find Clorox bottle, we find um, soap, powder, plastic floating all the way onto the reef. So, if we keep our rivers clean, we keep our barrier reef clean as well. It is a, an activity that I think is catching on. We hope that we, we strengthen the group. We I know that the group here in the Falls works closely with Tide as well. We want to thank Tide for supporting this group. They also give us a little support uh, this time around. We got support from uh, King's Gas Station. We got support from uh, Pelican, Bowen and Bowen. We got support from private individuals like uh, Juan David Mendez who works at Moyuno Resort, one of the Moyuno Resorts. Who come up. Communities are really being helpful. I'm encouraged by it and I will try to see if we could continue doing this as long as I'm here to, to do it every year or by annually do it every two years but dry weather is the best time to do it because the flood will take out that's when all the garbage go down to the reef. Christina Garcia executive director for Yaksha Conservation Trust. Today we are basically coordinating and collaborating with the Rio Grande River Keepers, Mr. Bartolo Teul and the Big Falls Warriors who are all uh, community conservation groups that are looking after our important watershed, especially the Rio Grande River. So Yaksha is partnering with these organizations to do a cleanup of these important watersheds. watersheds. So we're here cleaning up the Rio Grande River and also this commemorates uh, the beginning of Reef Week as well in, in Belize. So it meshes very well with the protection of watersheds, but overall, um, bringing in uh, the importance of these protected areas because most of these protected areas are a part or a component an integral component of these important watersheds so what a better way than to commemorate reef week than to give the importance of watersheds 
and the importance of collaboration for a clean environment, clean water, clean air, but especially protecting our rivers, which communities benefit a lot from. Hi, good morning. My name is Denise Garcia and I'm a leader of the Rio Grande River Keepers. We're a community-based, volunteer-driven group from San Pedro Colombia Village. Um, we have been in existence for the past year and a half and mainly we're targeting the watershed here in Southern Belize, specifically the Rio Grande watershed. Um, that's a system that is used by almost seven communities, um, providing fresh water um, to, to many residents, including Colombia, San Miguel, and Big Falls. Um, so today we are collaborating with the community of Big Falls to do a general river cleanup. Um, we do, we are cognizant that whatever actions we take upstream definitely affect residents that are downstream. So the idea here is for us to work together as communities um, using our youths or people who actually use the river to come together so that one we could ensure that we maintain a clean and healthy river but at the same time think from the long term how as communities we can join efforts to ensure that we have clean water today but also for future generations so the Rio Grande River Keepers is a community oriented um, group which we will be working with different other communities and environmental clubs to ensure that we continue safeguarding the water resources here in Southern Belize.